What's up people, this is Vasish here and today I'm going to show you how to install Apache Web Server on a Raspberry Pi along with the PHP module. So what I did was I went to the Raspberry Pi's website into the documentation se section and I found out this. So to install Apache there is only one line, let's copy and paste it. So what is Apache? So Apache is a piece of software which allows a machine to run as a web server. So this web server can be accessed over the internet or locally by just tapping in HTTP localhost or the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Now the web servers default address would be slash var slash www slash html and the index.html would be the default page but it could be replaced with any other page let's let it install so it's done now the next thing to do is let's check if it is installed or not let's tap in the IP address And you can see that it is installed. Now this is the default page. Now the next thing to do is install is install the PHP module. Hence just copy these lines and paste it over here. These two would be useful for accessing a web page or creating a web page on the Raspberry Pi to control the GPIO or to perform any other function. There are other modules available for the Apache web server as well which could be installed but I won't be doing them. There are basically two types of servers. One is Apache, the other is Nginx. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. So the PHP install is... Now if you just go over to the directory that is cd slash et slash uh, var slash www slash html and if you show the list directory index.html would be there. Now if we create a new page over here using nano and just ins and just insert these lines. Now if you just go over to the web page, tap in slash index.php index1.php my mistake. Then this will show the PHP page which we just created, which is this one. If you just install additional breaks, then you can see the PHP script is running. This is the time and the date. If I refresh it, then the, the time should change. This time would be the time which is on the Raspberry Pi and not the computer's time. And hence it could vary if you haven't set up the uh, Raspberry Pi's time. So thank you people for watching this video, like this video or dislike it, subscribe to the channel, share it, go through my other videos and see you next time, tada!